It's me, Scott McCormick, with some really, really good news. Obviously, a lot of you have seen it on Twitter, and oh my God, the response has been phenomenal. Seriously, um, just an ordinary bloke, and just like everyone else that ne living next door to you, and um, yeah, uh, the response. That I'm joking. Thousands of people wrote in or commented or liked. It was. It was. I'm glad I haven't got an ego. I won't be able to get my head out the door. Anyway, the HSCT has worked. Uh, I went in to see Dr. Victoria Singh Curry at Charing Cross Hospital on the 11th of December and she confirmed that everything was good. There has been no fresh activity or lesions on the brain uh, and that was it. I, first of all, I felt like I'd missed it. I said, Sorry, can you say that again? It's okay. She said, yeah, it's, it's, it looks like it's worked. And then she started talking about um, where people discuss about um, vaccinations and I said I'm not going to do any of that thank you very much I'm going to leave things where they are and chance it a bit later on but yeah that's that's my opinion um, yeah it's worked and uh, I don't want this to be one of those videos where I ramble on for 10 minutes because I have done in the past but do you know what why the hell shouldn't I you know why should this be any different I'm really quite pleased about this um, and I will say, over the last few months, obviously I've been off work for six months, Work Ultra Electronics, wow, you've been fantastic. I can't big them up enough. They're really forcing me to do a slow introduction back to work. Already I'm kind of thinking, I'm up for this. But going out and visiting our suppliers might be a bit of a call too far at this moment, because I do wear out so quickly. But yeah, um, for weeks I've been practicing, I'm not joking, um, it's my right foot, right hand side was it's been really really bad. I still, I can move it about all right, but it's still really stiff. The right hand side uh, doesn't feel at all properly uh, right. Uh, so yeah, there's there's still a lot of residual damage. I'm very aware of it all, and I push my limits. Yeah, I'm put, I'm not going to sit there and be like a whinging little whinge bucket. I do want to. Uh, progress I do want to I want it all back I'm going to cut and dry I want it all back and I want it yesterday um, I've been doing the physio and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be admitting that I've not done as much as I could have done but um, everything that I have done has, has helped and strengthened it's definitely going to be happening my jumping still really really rubbish walking about I tire quickly um, and yeah I can do circles with my right foot, which I couldn't do before. It was just a dead lump. Um, obviously, with blood and stuff going through the leg and foot, but it was just, I couldn't move it. There was nothing there. So I'm getting terrible spasticity still uh, in my right leg. So at night time, it tries to run out of the room without without me. Um, or, and it's very considerate like that. So I've been given some baclofen and something else. Baclofen is what I seem to remember because pop a couple of those before I go to bed and it seems to really help um, so there are there are strategies to help uh, once we're out of the hospital etc etc um, oh yeah yeah I just noticed look at that my hair it's it's so soft as well it's really really soft it's like baby hair apparently so I'm told it's been a long time since we had a baby and when Isaac's 18 and Archie's 13 now so yeah but no it's curly it's proper curly it's like a fro look at that so I've never had, it was always straight before, George, she was a hairdresser, so she seems to think that no, once it does its life cycle, we'll see what it does, it might not be a permanent thing, but no, look at that, it's really curly. So I'm, I'm letting it grow to see what it does. Um, yeah, I find it really funny. I'm learning things all the time about this. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's been great. So the HSCT has been a success. It has worked. If you're going through it, think about going through it, or you've only just found out about it, uh, just found out about it do the research there are some scary numbers that I like to throw at you um, but it's almost like they don't want you to do it they want you to keep taking the tablets but this is entirely your decision you have to weigh up the pros and cons for each one for me it was an absolute no-brainer you could have, I, yeah it was it was I heard the idea bang I'm doing it I'm like I've probably said in the past I'm, I'm not exactly scared of danger I was in the Air Force for 22 years, I've been to Afghan, I've done the Iraq stuff, I've been all around there. And uh, so yeah, rockets and mortars going over my pit at night. Psh, psh. Ain't, this ain't nothing, trust me. Um, <clears throat> so 
yeah, not afraid of any of that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much where I stand on that one. If you're if you're doing it, or well, if you're if you're doing it, well done you for getting there in the first place. Or if you've gone abroad to to, to do it, stay with you know, well done you. It's not. It's, I'll agree. It's not the most comfortable thing. It's really quite difficult, but it is entirely doable. You're there. You've earned the right to be there. You've through whatever means. Uh, you are there for good reason, and you will absolutely come out the other side. You will. It's a real given. The figures are based on people that have had the HSCT and they're, they're, they're riddled with other illnesses. Cancer is the most prevalent one that will, that will um, come up in the figures, I dare say. If you pick it apart, I've not heard of anyone with MS that's died. They may well be the odd person, but I'm not aware of it. But they're incredibly ill. So God bless them. God rest their souls. Um, <coughs> and if you come out the other side of it, what on you? Uh, I wonder if your hair's curly like that. <laughs> like that crazy so um before everyone wakes up and gets out in the morning gets up this morning um i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there so yeah it's it's worked really well we're hoping for a great christmas uh it should be quite good first christmas without a mess in a long time so yeah it's just mopping up and trying to get get my strength back i'm probably gonna join a gym but not in the new year because everyone joins in the new year i don't want to look like everyone else uh, the only thing i will say is my eyebrows they're not great. They're good shape. I like the shape. Very question mark esque. But I really want them to be uh, a lot more. The right eyebrows not doing well. I want to be a bit more prominent. They used to be really quite thick when I was younger. I know it's just an old man thing or whatever. But yeah, it's. Uh, I'll keep them off. Can't be done with them. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's looking really good. Really promising. Thank you very much, Hammersmith. Thank you very much, Doctor Victoria Singh Curry, over in um, Charing Cross for putting, putting me forward for it in the first place you know he was like oh i don't know if you're quite work but we'll put you in all the same you sort of there and yeah three months later it seems to be the time frame that you're in so yeah um it's but ending up must end on a positive must end on a positive i've got no ms anymore it can damage me no more the damage i've got is there and i can learn i've, I've learned that i can get movement back in my foot and that's a starter and that's enough to spur me on um, so yeah come February March time I'm going to join a gym I'm going to start working out to get my fitness back so going up the stairs god okay I'm still slow and sluggish but it's just so tiring <sighs> when it gets to the top it's ridiculous especially if you go there a few times because you forgot something but yeah, it's, it's all good so yeah thank you very much all of you and uh, all of you have a fantastic Christmas and a brilliant new year because we're going to try our best to do the same here. Okay, thank you very much. I love you all. And uh, yeah, stay tough.